One low country organization has gotten $500,000 in federal funding to lower diabetes rates across the Tri-County area. And today the group is hosting its first community advisory board meeting to discuss the next steps. Our town of Maxwell joins us at the Schiffa uh, Clinic facility along Marina Drive in Charleston to share how the group's Inspire D program is working to help make folks healthier. Good morning. Good morning, Katie. Well, the goal with the Schiffel Clinic's Inspire D project is to find where the group's diabetes awareness and prevention efforts are needed the most. And the first step is to conduct a community health assessment. For context, diabetes is the eighth leading cause of death here in South Carolina, according to the State Department of Public Health. And Schiffel Clinic leaders say one out of three adults have prediabetes nationwide, while eight out of ten adults don't even know they have it. The concern is that high blood pressure blood sugar rather from diabetes can lead to health complications with the heart and brain. Overall, the plan for the Inspire D project is to increase the number of early screenings for disadvantaged communities across tri-county areas with workshops and health fairs. Lydia Ford, the project coordinator for Sheffield Clinic, says there are no downsides to learning about healthier nutrition, wellness, and fitness to re reverse pre-diabetic conditions. Ford says family history is only one of the risk factors of the disease. Weight is definitely a factor that um, we always search for. Being over the age of 35, believe it or not, means that you should get screened um, at least once a year when you come to the doctor. Uh, being pregnant is a huge, huge risk factor. The plan is to kick off the project in early January and coming up in the next hour, I'll tell you which demographics are the most at risk and how this project works to specifically help in these communities. In Charleston, Tiana Maxwell, Life 5 News.